Okay, Steve Gresham here with KarateFire.com and we're going to be working on Kempo techniques and advanced principles. What I like to do is show some of the more advanced uh, options that you can do. We're going to be working on yellow belt today. It's going to be a lot of fun. Dave, come in. Okay, so the first technique is delayed sword. Uh, when he comes at you, he drops back. He comes in and he does the round yeah. punch. You block. This comes up the body. Snap kick checking inside the knee and the snap and that's the basic delay source so we'll do it at normal speed yeah 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 that'd be normal normal practice speed street speed it happens in one action okay the next one alternating maces pushes I come off the line punch trap back knuckle okay so again yeah push stay up high and we practice here okay stay up high and I will practice here, check, and then turn your head, and then you back knuckle this way. See, that's how you knock that one. Sorry. So it comes in again, I go there, boom, and you let it move you because I'm going to hit. And then it's trapped, and then boom, and it flies you that way. One more time. See, so if you don't turn your head. Okay. okay, so that technique, and he comes at me, and it's boom, like that. Now when I get there, I'll be in position to do other stuff. Sword destruction, he does a left round, it, it spreads here, kick the balls inside the leg, and chop. Okay? Again, one, two, three, and four. Okay? Deflecting hammer comes with a, le a right kick and a right punch. I come off the line, I block, and I parry. I step in and bump in behind the butt, and the elbow is thrown. We'll do this one. Um, from a little bit different angle. Okay. One, two, I step to bump here, this can pull, and the elbow. Alright, more, more practice speed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just do it kind of easy with each other, right? Capture twigs, when he does the capture twigs, he grabs you, you pin, you step out to take his balance, sit on his leg, hit the balls, turn in a low cap. Elbow here, elbow here, palm heel here, kick the knee. And come. And the other side. Let's do the back. Okay. So when he grabs you, this hand comes straight up like this. Notice I'm not doing that. It comes up like this, so it's just like that. Okay. I step out and I push his leg. Now, pick me up, Dave. You can't whine. It's not happening. My leg's locked. The lever. The lever of the leg, right? right? So I go here, and when I step out, I do this, and I also punch, hammer him in the balls. Now this hand circles. I turn in a low cap. All right, that that will open this grip. And at the same time I hit him there, I hit him there. I do a palm heel and then a side kick, which will take him down. All right. So. You got to really watch your control. I mean, it's hard to hold these back. Next one is grasp of death. Right now I'm doing the basic Ed Parker version for you. In a minute, we're going to do the advanced versions, okay, for the black belts. Right. He grabs from the headlock. He steps in front of you. You need to check here. As you check this and you step forward, you arch upward so you're straight and you hammer the balls. You then lift this up. You come under here and then you have a one-arm armbar. You step in front of him, you apply the one-arm armbar, and you punch. Okay, let's do it from this. So when he grabs, this is the first thing, the leg. When he pulls me, I step and drive his knee towards the ground. You can drive it all the way down. I lift this up, I get in front of him, I come in towards his foot to drive him down. This stand up, Dave. This is a one arm arm bar. So watch, watch this. Let's show this. Come here. This is a one arm arm bar. So watch what happens. With this pressure, it goes across the tricep. Watch. See that? So it's not a two handed deal. It's a one arm arm bar. And then punch. Okay. This is not the version I do, by the way. So he grabs me, and boom, boom, and punch. Okay, the next one is checking the storm. Go get a club. Checking the storm, what you're going to do, step in a horse and parry. So on this side, it's horse and parry. You 
come up, your hand comes up, you do an extended hour block as you cat and check. Ball snap kick to the knee, chicken kick to the balls. Palm heel forward and cover out. All right, Dave. So he comes with the right overhead club. I parry as I step out of the way. This hand is already coming up. Extended outward block as I cat. I snap kick or push kick with the ball. And then as I chicken, the hands come across the face as I chicken and then the palm heel. And I actually did that in real life in a fight when I was younger, about 20 years ago. The guy came and hit with a roundhouse and I went, boom, smash, and he was like 10 feet. <laughs> that was a purple belt and it worked great. So if you practice these, it'll become part of your body. Let's do the other side. Okay. So he comes over and I go parry, strike, kick. Watch this hands. This is here in case. This is here, see? So if he does punch, this is coming across, this is kicking, and then the palm heel will be in place. Don't punch, I'm gonna do a chicken, okay, ready? Sure. So it goes one, kick, kick, and palm heel. Regular speed, <laughs> like that. So it just happens kind of like that. It's like jumping over and then jumping in. Mace of aggression, the gentleman's gonna grab you like this. First thing you do with mace of aggression, two fingers across the eyeball. This one is going to diagonal knuckle rake as you do a slicing knife edge kick. You plant back over, kick over to uh, 10, plant back over to two. Attack the radial nerve. Use a frictional pull on the radial nerve. Cock back, inward elbow, outward elbow. He comes up and grabs, and he's got me in the intimidation pose. So this comes across the eye as it comes down to pin. This lifts at the same time. I kick with a slicing knife edge. You want to move this foot back. Sure. Not that one. Move this foot back. And this hits. Where you have to watch it is don't go through here because you can't get your arm in the middle. You have to keep your arm here. So then I step over a little bit this way. So as he's not going to have force. Then when this comes down, I step back away from him so he doesn't headbutt me. Then inward elbow to the temple, outward to the nose, and out. What's cool about this technique, when they grab you, swoop, that happens in one action. So it's like this. Swoop. Okay, so he comes. It's the idea. So if you look at what's going on here, make sure that you don't do this. A lot of people do this. Don't do that. I'm totally in Sliwa. See that? If you turn that way, <laughs> see? and that's the, the main flaw I see is people want to do this. So when I do this technique, how'd that feel? <laughs> Pretty perfect, right? Okay, the next one is attacking mace. This one they come through with your traditional step through punch. Yeah. I go back into a left stance. I'm off the line, okay? I do a block above the elbow. Do not block below the elbow or he will trap. I block above the elbow. This makes the hammer fist. So lock that puppy in. I step out a little bit for power. So if I punch him right here, there's no power. I step out, I drag into the punch, and he slides. Watch his reverse step drag. Very important. He keys and slides. Yeah. Then a friction pull down. The kick comes in here, and then you land with an uppercut. You check the shoulder. Then you do this knee check with an elbow. That will take the man down. Okay, let's do the other side. So he comes through. Yeah. One, blocking here. I aim my punch right at his face. Step, don't punch from right here, this is what people do, but you need to step out and punch here with power. Friction pull, downward 45. Round kick, as you plant down, knee, and uppercut. Turn into this knee, 
and elbow. And that'll take the man down. Okay? Normal speed. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay? You ready? Sir. Come get me. So it gets a little more uh, animalistic when you do the normal speed. Okay, the next one is your um, sword and hammer, okay? When the guy grabs you, pin and look. Pin and look, you step and sword, and then you hammer. Many follow-ups to do. For basics, I just step up. When you step, it's a reverse cat. Launch a back kick with your heel, and come on out with a crossover. This is the first one in yellow belt that I would do with a crossover if I did that kick. But anyway, he comes from here. I pin and look, make sure he's not my buddy. I come in there, boom, I chop. There's your sword, now your hammer. I practice on his leg so I don't hit him in the balls. From there, there's many options. I'll just step up, launch a back kick to the heel, and club around. You can also just do it this way. You can go sword, hammer, come around and face him. Step through. Be more of a yellow belt version. What's cool about this is if I do the sword and hammer, now when I come around and face him, he puts his punch up, and then as I step through reverse, I have that. And of course, then from there I can do my throws, hits, rock blocks, breaks, sprains, whatever. Okay? Those are your 10 techniques, so we're going to walk them straight through. Sure. All right? So let's go. Delete sword. Yeah! Yeah! Alternating maces. Sword of destruction. Sword of destruction. <laughs> Round. There we go. Hooks. Yeah! Deflecting hammer. Capture twigs. Grasp for death. You okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Now checking the swarm. There's a Base of aggression. Attacking base. Okay, and sword and hammer. All right, so there's many, many options. These are the basic levels. Thanks to David for doing a great dummying up there. And we're gonna bid you salutation. We'll come back on the next video and start teaching the black belt versions.